Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Alvarez and we are at Coachella, obviously, and this is Abe and Chino from the Deftones. Hey. Hi guys. How are you? Hey there. So most every year people get super excited about the Coachella lineup, like who's gonna play? It dropped, super excited. Nobody expected to see the Deftones. That was an extra level of excitement. So what brought you to this magical desert? Uh, we were asked. I guess that's yeah. the that's the quickest, easiest answer I got. I don't for think you. we yeah. expected it either. So you know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, obviously this was going on for many, many, many years, and um, yeah, we, I mean, it was honestly the first time we were asked to do it. Uh, in the beginning, we weren't quite sure if we were or not, and it was kind of last minute that we kind of just pulled the trigger, and, and uh, yeah, why not? How are you? And here you are. A lot of artists get put on the bill for Coachella, and this is their oh my god, I've made it moment. So for nostalgia's sake, do you remember what was your, oh my God, I think we've made it moment? You know, it's weird with our career. It's, it was, it's such a slow build. I mean, you know, it still feels like we're still like building for some crazy reason after 30 years. Um, I've never like felt like one day just, I, like I woke up and went like, wow, because it's been so gradual. But when I do look back in retrospect, I mean, it's like crazy. We, him and I talk about it all the time. We were, we, you know, we've known each other since uh, the seventh grade and, uh, so you know like when we were just little kids skateboarding behind the school getting in trouble uh tiny trouble tiny trouble, yeah. tiny trouble i'm yeah. sure yeah just uh but like you know it's crazy to think back the you know that we're, we're here now and still doing it after all these years you were talking about i want to know a little more about this about it feeling like you're still building what is this itch that you have to scratch like what is it that you see that you haven't quite gotten to yet I don't know if there's an end end goal. I mean, really, I, I think just to, con you know, I think the consistency and, and uh, always trying to expand a little bit, like musically, is, I mean, first of all, like, you know, when we make records and, you know, trying to see what else we can do, you know what I mean? Um, and obviously just to be inspired. I mean, the fact that I make, we were making music, we've been making music, like I said, since we were kids and um you would think at some point we would like run out of ideas or whatever but it's weird we get together and we just start making sounds and everybody gets excited and like you know so that's a great i think thing. time too time is a trip because it's been like you know we started in 1988 man yeah. you know like had a record deal in the, in the early 90s and stuff but i mean just the fact that there's been a lot of growing in that time you know there's been many many ups and downs there's been great highs and um, you know, really, really, really sunken deep lows to, you the know, cycle as, of as life. Is life, you the know, cycle um, of life. but it's kind of a trip. So here we are, we're just kind of chipping away. We go home, we take breaks now and it's not this, it's not this constant grind anymore. Um, we have sort of, sort of passed. You I get think. to manage the rhythm a little better. Yeah. And yeah, we can actually manage it now too, rather than it controlling us so much, you know, and that, I think we're better for that, obviously just rested and ready to go. Um, and more nice. So a lot of artists will play Coachella and tonight will be that show they'll never forget. Do you guys have that one show individually that you'll never forget? For whether it's a good one or a bad one. Oh, there's some bad ones. <laughs> tell me sure. about tell me about a bad uh, one. Man, I mean <laughs> What makes a bad show? Uh, is it like a bad mood or technical difficulties or what, what makes all, yeah, yeah. all of it? Yeah. But I mean, you know, a technical. Di I mean, I've I feel like I've learned a lot. Uh, but there were days when like a technical difficulty would throw me like for a loop, and uh, and then it's like, you know, once something happens, and then instead of moving forward, you're just like thinking about w the, what you just messed up or what just messed up, and then you continue to mess up because you're still yeah. thinking about what happened and you can't instead get of just present. moving in the moment. Yes, mm -hmm. and you can't just like catch your rhythm. So that's happened over time. I mean. Um, you know, it's all learning experience. Um, I feel like, you know, we were a little bit more like even yeah, kill these days where growth, you know, you things know. happen and you just kind of shrug your shoulders. And it keep is moving, what it is. Keep it moving. It is what it is. It is. Remember that so, time with Madonna, though? What? We were, we were assigned to Seriously? Maverick uh, early on. You know, keep going. Um, and we were playing at uh, somewhere in Hollywood, that theater. Las Palmas Theater. Las Palmas Theater. And we're like, we're, you know, we're playing. We're like, all right. And then I right, get the word. Oh, Madonna's coming down. We're like, oh, shit. Madonna, Madonna. It, man, M's coming so and we played we had the worst it was just an awful show technically sound yeah but we and we had uh, we had already signed though with Maverick like a week before so we were like that's it we're done we're like, gonna get she, dropped she's gonna, she's she's gonna, gonna pay us and like whatever when she it was just, it's line. so dumb what do you think about it but we we're like yeah. oh man we're done we're never gonna we'll never work in this town again yeah you got in your head yep that's what happened so you've had a really long relationship with K-Rock we've I think been there the whole time which is really nice so we know 
we consider the Deftones family at K-Rock. I want to know about the Deftones now and what you're doing, because from what I understand, we should be getting new music. And it would be lovely to know a little tidbit, maybe an exclusive. Yeah, I mean, we haven't really talked much about it. Uh, we just sort of been working on and off over the last year and a half, like from when we started writing to basically where we're sitting right now is we have a whole record recorded all musically and it's pretty much my job right now to finish up the vocals and um i have obviously this uh this show again next week Mm -hmm. um and then straight after that i go back home to oregon and i go in the studio and and uh so as long as that you know um uh as long as that takes i don't we're, we're I don't. I. I, can't, I hate to like put like a you know like a definite yeah. kind of time frame because I just you know we're not really in a rush. We want it to be great. I think that's most important. Um, but it is coming. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's really good. We're really excited with what we what we've been working on. And uh, everybody's yeah, everybody's jazzed. Did it's coming do- out on April first, I think. <laughs> so, did you do anything on this new record that might have surprised you or might surprise fans? Are there any firsts? Uh, whew, that's a big question. Um, I feel like it's it, it you know overall it's just kind of in, it's an invigorated kind of sound. I mean, um, we went in and uh, everybody like kind of what I was saying earlier. It's like after all these years, you go in and it's like we hadn't we haven't written a record since what was it like pre COVID? I think when we were last in the studio. Um, so it'd been a while since we had actually, I mean, we've been playing shows, but we hadn't really got into like start, you know, being creative. The creative part to me is always kind of the funnest part of being in this band. Performing's great, but like coming up with something out of nothing, that feeling is like cannot be topped. And it's so when you get in the room with your friends, you guys are, we're laughing, we're having fun. And then someone does something and then I react to it or they react to what I'm doing or, you know, goes in a circle and then all of a sudden we lift our heads up and there's something that exists that didn't exist before we walked in that room. That's amazing. just great. That's yeah. got to be an amazing yeah. feeling. Okay, yeah. before we wrap things up, if you could go back to 1988, the both of you, as these versions of yourself and tell your younger versions one bit of advice that would be useful, what would it be? Eat your veggies. <laughs> well, I already was. Don't do... The bad, bad things. things. <laughs> um, live isn't life. that part of the... Live life. Be, yeah. Of, you know, of course. Part live. of the ride. Um, part sure. of the ride. Fully. Yes. Um, be patient. You know, take... Breathe. Breathe. Take it in. Enjoy the ride. Okay. Awesome. And you? I'm back in what he says. Okay. I asked a, uh, a bunch of bands that question and they all say either they would tell themselves not to be a dick or to just slow down. Everything's going to work out. Which yeah. I like very much. I mean, much. It's, it's easier said than done if you knew that everything was going to work out, right? Yeah. But you really don't. But I like to don't be a dick. Because, don't be a dick, yeah. Because, yeah, I, I think back sometimes and I'm like, wow. Like, you know. So all this can I'm get to I'm glad there head. wasn't any, f- you know, there, yeah. wasn't, there wasn't many many <laughs> social medias back then. Thank God yeah, for those yeah. of us that grew up doing bad things. Right. Thank God. Well, thank you, Abe and Chino. I'm Nicole Alvarez with the Deftones, and we're live at Coachella. <laughs>